All right, back we go. It is Tuesday. It is August 10th. Market is still ongoing. 151 East Coast time. Dow's up 145. NASDAQ minus 68. S&P plus 5. And let's take a look at some more stocks. Yeah, these could be day trades or swing trades. Just looking at the overall chart. FUBU. Yeah, this thing really exploded back in November. Got about 10, 15. <laughs> look at this back in December. Went from 25 to 60 plus on one, two, three, four, five candles. And then just as fast as it went up, what goes up must come down. One, two, three, four, five, seven straight down candles. Absolutely incredible. Found a base at 25, you know, tried to come back up again. It did, you know, 55 plus. And that was it. And then we start to come down. We have a channel, you know, bounces. This is a clear channel down. Down support at 15 right here on this candle back in may then we went up to 20 you know all the way to 35 here that's a nice run so you know this puts in big runs now on that may move you see it very oversold here you don't know what's going to do this you don't know what any stock's going to do it could go here to here then come down maybe here to here you just take it for what it does you just keep watching it it's going to keep going up it's you know great long <clears throat> now may Right here, you can see it was oversold. And then look at this power move up, this white over red stochastics. And you know, there's a candle in the weekly. And the monthly, we're coming in, sort of a chop now, we're sideways. Weekly, finding support at 25, look at these wicks. So that's very good long. The daily chart. Um, you know, we're heading back up. It's a nice little move here the last few, uh, three, four days. You know, could we get the 30, um, 32, 35, 34 possible? Yeah, I'm not sure how long this run will last. See the weekly again. You know, it's curling up, so that's a good sign on the weekly. But clearly you see this 25. That's your support right here. And then we'll watch this 30 to 35 to play that. So it's looking pretty good now, FUBU, FUBU TV. Here's BE Bloom Energy. This is another one. This was in a long run from April, like four dollars to forty-four. <coughs> Excuse me, four dollars to forty-four. And um, yeah, that move was like a six months, seven, eight months move, and then it came down very hard from forty-four. You know, bounce, try to bounce again. You're at like eighteen. Came back to this uh, thirty-eight point two retracement level at twenty-eight. And we came back and it's testing this 20. I think I said in a previous video or even on stock, um, Twitch said it was going to get a 20. Yeah, put in a little candle today. A lot of these candles that you're seeing that, like a shooting star candle, maybe a little temporary move to stop this. On the weekly, you can clearly see these wicks. One, two, three, four, five, six wicks at that 20. So that's a big level. Trying to cross over up. Uh, Trying to get above this 1320 EMA, the monthly, monthly sliding now. See this from 2020? That was a straight long up on the monthly. Impressive. Now we're going down. When's it going to cross up and come back up? That's the question. Are we still sliding down? You still have red over white, so it hasn't crossed over completely. So, you know, right now we got to get back above this wick now, that 24 plus wick. Hey, your immediately stops is 23 because this is a big candle. If not, we could go back to 22 here. And then, you know, if it goes back further, watch the 20 level. So we'll see if we can get over this. And this pops again and tests that 28. So, yeah, when you have a move like this, this three day move, a right candle, it's normal. Even after a big one day move, yeah, the trend is still up now. So we'll see what this does on uh, VE. All right, here's Root. All right, root formed way back in November. This was at 29, came all the way down, bounced back to 22, formed another little like channel here. I have two lines here, exploded out of this at, you know, eight all the way up to, you know, 14 plus. Formed another little channel here, like a wedge. This was a wedge, didn't come out of it. Fake come out of it right here, a fake come out. And 
you know, look at it now. It's trying to sideways move. This is a big bearish candle, but I don't like that at all. The weekly is showing three, six, seven, seven out of eight days down. It's not good. It's at 286. It's very oversold. Monthly, you know, we're just in a complete downtrend. So, you know, will this bounce maybe tomorrow? Anything's possible. Um, it's not looking good. The overall chart. So you can see this right here. Yeah, overall chart, it's got to be something positive that we start turning up. It has to form an ultimate base, which hasn't shown yet. On root, our RMO, Romeo Power, another one of these stocks like EV charging, uh, what's it say, or technology, electronic components. This one is high as 38. Look at this run up December. And this came way down, another crash down, wedge formed. Came out of this wedge right here about six or seven. You know, when it's high as about 1080. So that was a nice run there. That was about you know almost a month and came back down. We went sideways. Now we're showing a little bit of divergence. See this low, low. All these lows are getting higher, but it's not really moving up much. The weekly, it looks like a double bottom here. Could be right here at this low at 633. Okay, still very oversold. I'm trying to find like a base here, it looks like. See in the monthly, one, two, three, six out of seven red candles. It's buried. It's at a 310 monthly. It's really low. So, you know, can it get much lower? And this, it can drift lower. Now, if this doesn't hold right here, it's just going to drift down. So I wouldn't just jump right in. Um, you know, keep an eye of it. Any news, this could easily go to 7, 8, and start to turn up. So we'll watch on that one if you're playing that. So FUBU is looking better. BE, you know, it's putting a bearish candle. My roots in a downtrend. And RMO sort of to be determined at this point. All right, so that's it for these stocks. Please subscribe to Mike Came and Trade Alerts on YouTube. Hit the like button. Um, leave comments, anything about stocks is all good. And then my stock twits, let me see here. Go back to my uh, channel here. Uh, stock twits, Mike Kamen alerts. Uh, Instagram, Mike Kamen, I believe it's alerts. Uh, TikTok, Mike Kamen trades. Twitter, Mike Kamen trades. Facebook, I have uh, Mike Frank, you can look me up. So that's it for now. And we will be back for more technical analysis videos. I was talking to some guy and he's like, oh, technical analysis doesn't work. That's what ultimately works, even fundamentals. Fundamentals are good for stocks like Apple, Home Depot, any stock you know, below like these market caps, a billion dollars, a lot of these stocks, it's all technical analysis. Like if you understood this pattern here, people are like, oh, it's going to keep going. If you understood this, you knew it was going to keep going. That's where people don't understand it. Takes years to understand these charts, what it means, double bottoms, candlesticks, you know, big volume updates. You gotta put it all together. All right, that's it. Peace.